All right, so the past couple weeks, I've been working on Of Power Lines. Picked it back up after a long, long, long time that I, it's just been sitting there. It's gone through um, Steam's green light process, so as soon as I finish it, I can put it up on there. It's going to be free, though, so... Um, so I've been... The first thing I had to do once I got into it was start cleaning up the code because I made the original demo for a game jam. So it's a mess. It was a complete mess. I didn't have much time. I decided to just brute force hand animate everything, which was a lot of effort, but it got rid of the the unknown of whether I would have actually finished a, a programmed animation system in time. But the result is that I have... Uh, it's a mess. There's all these hand animations everywhere and tons of layers and bleh, bleh. I've basically been gutting it and remaking it. So, I mean, some things work and a lot of things don't work right now. So far, I have redone the player's animations and made an animation system that works by dropping down waypoints for the characters to go through. And it, it now automatically figures out the depths of things. I haven't haven't waypointed everything on the entire map yet, so it's broken, but um, that's because I've been focusing on doing the harder animation bits in here. So there's like this gondola, which the characters have to get into and it has to wait for the gondola animation to play. And then there's the subway that has like masking when it goes, when the characters go into it. So I have to like automatically apply a mask now in the programming instead of doing it by hand, which was simpler for that one little piece. And there's this mine shaft, which was a total mess because once you get in the mine shaft, it changes perspective, it doesn't have shadows anymore, and the dog doesn't come along. And so I'm like still using the old system for inside the mine. And there's the, the train in the subway. It has to like copy the, the characters into the train so that it can move them with the train. When you go into some houses, the character gets automatically kicked out. Yeah, so weeks and weeks of just getting some stuff working again. I, next, I have to do it for like the NPC characters and there's probably some more places in the world that has special things that I have to f fix up. But once that's all done, I'll have a much more flexible system that I can add more uh, NPCs to finally and start getting the game fleshed out. <sighs>